In this movie I'm going to show you how I would present um, one of the slides in the PowerPoint presentation that you need to produce. I just need to remind you about your role. You are a tour guide at the Royal Observatory and when you're taking groups of the public round the Royal Observatory as part of the tour you're going to show them your PowerPoint presentation about the solar system. So I'm going to show you the slide that I produced as if I was that tour guide. So here we go. Here's the opening image. This is an image of the New Horizons spacecraft that is currently on the way to Pluto. Here's the title for my slide, Pluto. I've used a bit of word art to produce that. And here's a photograph of Pluto that's taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. And as you can see, it's all blurry. That's the best image we've currently got of Pluto because it's so far away. And that's the reason why the New Horizons spacecraft is currently going there, to get some better photographs. The diagram shows Pluto's orbit compared to the other planets. And here's a bit of information. So Pluto's orbit is more elliptical than the other orbits and it's tilted and we can see that from the diagram. Some more information about Pluto's orbit. So Pluto takes 248 Earth years to complete one orbit of the Sun. Pluto was discovered by uh, someone called Clyde Tombaugh in 1930. But in 2006, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Here we can compare Pluto and its moon Charon with our moon and the Earth. And we can see that they're both much smaller than the Earth and smaller than our moon. A bit of information about this New Horizons mission to Pluto. So. It left in 2006 and will arrive at Pluto next year in July of 2015. The New Horizons spacecraft is travelling at a staggering 12 miles per second. It's the fastest spacecraft we've ever made. And here's a link, a QR code to a YouTube video that for those members of the public that were particularly interested in the mission could scan that on their phones and watch the video about the New Horizons mission. So that's my slide about Pluto and as you can see I've got quite a lot of information on there but it's all broken up into little bits and I've got a number of images there, I've got bits of information um, but I've separated out the bits of information using text boxes so even though there is quite a lot of information on there, it doesn't feel too cluttered. So that is the, the sort of thing you need to do with your slides. And the way in which the information is presented in a, in a way that people will understand easily rather than the type of facts that you find on astron astronomy websites. So you've got a bit of tweaking to do to sort of turn it into the right form.